Hi guys and welcome to Retrobeard. In today's episode we're going to be doing a good old fashioned pickups video. Got plenty of stuff uh, that's been collecting over the last three to four weeks uh, that I'm about to show you. Some games, some new, some old, a um, couple of bits and pieces I need to do repairs which I'm going to be doing today. Uh, yeah, so I've got quite a varied amount of items for you guys. So I'm going to grab the knife and we're going to crack on it in fact i don't actually need the knife for the first few things because i did get a little bit excited and yeah i kind of opened them a little bit early um first one was this guys um unfortunately i had a problem with my spectrum um the number two key wasn't working so i had to remove this and clean out the membrane a bit there put this back together but unfortunately the, the the silver bit that the kind of like the face plate that goes over here was completely um completely knackered. so uh i did ask a question on i think it was um sinclair for sale or something like that um if anyone had uh, any face plate for sale um i've just missed out on a couple but luckily me friend brian dickinson uh, he recommended that i go to zx renew um i'll stick a, a link to their site in the description below because guys if you need parts for your spectrum this is an awesome place to go. They had so much choice of um, different face plates. The one I finally went for was this one. Which um, I think will look uh, pretty, pretty cool actually. So I'm not going to stick it on right now, but just to give you an idea of uh, what it will look like. Because um, I just want to do, there's a few bits I want to clean up on this first before um, I put it all back in. Course, last time I just kind of slid on immediately but yeah um, that, that's kind of what it's gonna look like so the old uh, ZX Spectrum should be back up and running soon I mean I can still use it but it's just just doesn't look just doesn't look the part um, the next one that is open is this uh, and this is Hitman 3 um, for the PlayStation 4 um, I bought this Primarily for the uh, the VR section of the game, which is absolutely solid. Um, it's definitely going to take um, some practice to get used to it. I also bought it because um, I heard you could play uh, Hitman 1 and 2 in full VR as well. Um, but unfortunately, you've got to buy like the... Um, like the, the the most expensive like the gold edition or something like that but i've uh, also read that if you do complete hitman 3 the game then it unlocks hitman 1 and hitman 2 um which is perfect so um, uh, I, I was kind of hoping to play at hitman 1 then 2 pardon me then 3 but unfortunately that isn't going to happen absolutely stunning today in inverness guys it's not often we get weather like this so um, then on to my uh, Hit Squad pickup, um, which is a game that I've been after for an absolute eternity. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram um, or you're part of the Hit Squad Collective uh, on Facebook, then you'll have, you'll have seen the picture that I, I did put up with this because I'm so happy to get it. Um, and that is the Empire Strikes Back, which is number 11 um, on the arcade for Amstrad. This has been a bugger to get. It's the last of the Star Wars one I needed. So we've got all three on the Commodore, the Spectrum and the Amstrad now. So that's another subset that's put to bed. It's uh, in beautiful condition. I picked it up um, on eBay. There's been one on eBay for about 15 quid. Um, I'd imagine it's still there to be fair because it normally goes for like five or six pound. Um, I finally got one for the right price uh, around about that. Um, which I was really happy with, so made the guy an offer, and I said, "Look, there's been one for sale for for months." I says, "But I says this is really like what it's genuinely worth," and um, yeah, he went for it. So now it's mine. So really happy to add that to the collection. Um, Hit squads has obviously slowed down um, drastically, really, at the minute. Paul, um, Mr. Bads, he's picked up some absolute corkers recently. He really has. Um, I'll leave them for him to reveal what they are um hopefully uh, we'll, we'll, we might see a video or, or i'll be putting them uh, on on the uh, on the facebook collective which is where i say oh not jealous at all mate <laughs> there's one in particular and oh man i've looked at, look, i kind of find it for love and money um but. so uh, th this leads on to um 
Oh, continues a bit from a, a video that I done a few weeks ago, um, and it was about me. I'm uh, I'm strong. Um, it was about me Amiga collection. Um, I'm yet to repair the Amiga, but as I say, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to do it today. Um, and th this was a game that came in conversation um, during the video, and there was a some people mentioned it as well in the comments. And do you know what? They were absolutely right. Um, a game that is really nostalgic to me for a couple of reasons. One, it's based on probably my favourite film franchise. Uh, and two, I really loved it as a kid, even though I was absolute dog shit at it. This game is Alien Breed. I mean, it's the, the box art is simple, but it's effective. It's a beautiful game, guys. As far as I'm concerned, this is an unofficial port of um, Aliens for the Amiga. Um, when you when you see the back and you see the screenshots, um, I'll I'll put a little bit of gameplay um, in the in the bottom corner for you so you can have a look. Uh, but even even the aliens look like aliens. They they look like xenomorphs. So, Team Seventeen game uh, and mod main mod one meg required for this one. It's got the booklet there, which is all uh, all in decent condition, and then. The, um, the three discs are um, all different colours. So I'm not sure whether that's a normal thing or not. But um, it looks pretty cool. I have got uh, some good nostalgia for this game. Um, I did play it a lot back in the day. As I say, I wasn't particularly good at it. Um, the sequel, I, I, I thought, was was a, a really good game. The 3D one, <sighs> struggled with that one though, guys. Um, I think they just tried to do a little bit too much too soon for the system. Um, so it just ended up being like not not a, not a fantastic uh, not a fantastic game, unfortunately. So moving on, we have this one here, which is Music Magpie. I don't know if you guys have ever checked out Music Magpie, but um, if you want games that are more like a little bit more modern, um, that are probably on like DVD or CD, can be a pretty good um, can be a pretty good place to go. Um, I've done a bit of a deal with my friend uh, Danny Harrison, uh, who's uh, Press Start Gaming. Um, I'm going to be picking up a sequel and the third uh, game of a, uh, a franchise. And guys, this is one I'm really, really looking forward to playing. Bioshock. I do not hear many bad things about this game. So I've never played it. This is probably going to feature on a short video because I've never played it, but I'm definitely going to. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it just it looks awesome on the back as well. But I did miss out on this game when uh, when it came around the first time on the PlayStation 3. Not sure if it's had a reboot on the PS4. I know a lot of popular games have recently. Um, but, um, I mean, come on, guys. It's all the BAFTA. That'll do for me, right? This has got to be a cracking game. So yeah, look forward to um, to giving Bioshock um, a blast, and then when uh, when Danny sends me up uh, Bioshock Two, and was the last one? Uh, it's not Bioshock Three. It's called something else. Um, it's got like an American flag or something on the front of it, if I remember rightly. Or was that the back? Anyway, um, I'm really looking forward to, to hopefully getting some time to be able to play those because it does look really cool. So, these, uh, we've got a few things left open. I'm hoping I know what this one is, because it's something that I really do need. And yeah, um, this is from uh, Retro Bench, and this is their capacitor kit for the Amiga 1200. So, I'm going to be changing all of these today. Well, might be tomorrow as well. It, it depends how much time I get. Formula One's on today. Boxing's on tonight as well. So, um, do you know what? I best put that phone on silent. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but as you can see, all the capacitors, etc., are in there. In the Amiga 1200 capacitor kit. So, that's the first of three that I'm going to do. I'm going to do my Mega Drive, which has some issues. Um, and also this bad boy needs doing as well so I actually need to get mine back as well because uh, at the minute I haven't got a working game board so this one is from Lithuania which I've got absolutely no idea what it is oh yes 
I forgot all about this one, guys. Um, so yeah, this is not not quite in the same um, league as what um, Mr. Bad's picked up earlier this week. However, it is one that I've been absolutely raking around the planet to be able to find this. And this is Arkanoid on the Atari 800. That completes, as far as I'm aware, the Atari 800 set, I think. So we have um, one, two, and three on the Atari. So all arcade games. Um, I, I will have to check just to just to make sure that um, there isn't any more Ataris. But if there is just the three, then that is that subset complete. Um, and that's the first completed set of the year for me, <laughs> which would be awesome. Um, right. Okay. Moving on. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. Um, one of the lads put up on the Discord group that he had some magazines, and he was just giving these giving these away. Uh, the Retro Gamer, I've only got a couple of them, so um, when I seen that he was, he didn't even accept postage. In fact, I in the end insisted that I um, swap something for them. So um, I'm going to send him um, a Mega Drive. I think it's just a Mega Drive loose cartridge that he's after. So. I think that's a that's a decent swap like um wow these are in apps well look absolutely superb absolutely superb um the guy i got them from is a uh, game zone bird room now how do i see it like that or do i go game zone bird room <laughs> anyway you know the guy you know the channel um and he has been kind enough to send me all of these retro gamers. So yeah, um, the first one here. Uh, I'm not sure what what which it doesn't have on like what which one it is or anything. Anyway, right, final fight or something like that. I think that looks pretty awesome. Oh, wow, look at these retro gamer. All the retro gamer mods, guys. One with the snares on the front there. That looks pretty cool. Oh, ho, ho, now we are talking. For any of you, you younger viewers out there, that is Turrican. Awesome, awesome game. We've got uh, Half-Life there. Got into a bit of trouble off my friend for slagging off the Half-Life box cover. Wasn't impressed, sorry. Great game though, absolutely fantastic game. Shy cover though. I, I still think, but anyway. Um, this looks like something to do with Nintendo or something there, I'm not really sure what. Uh, or is that uh, Alex Kidd maybe, or something like that? I don't know. Soon we'll find out when we're giving them a read. Pac-Man 40th Anniversary. PlayStation 2. Some awesome reading here. I'm really going to enjoy this. Got the Evercade there. Um, and Beneath the Steel Sky. Ooh. Oh, beyond the Steel Sky, that must be the um, like the the reboot that I was uh, thinking about the other day, and of course, wow, this is going to be a classic one, isn't it? I mean, we know what this one's about, right? <laughs> so yeah, I'm really looking forward to sending all them. Thanks so much for sending them, um, and the, the, they'll keep me entertained for quite a while. Not that I haven't got anything to do, because then I got sent this the other day. I bought this one Facebook, and. Um, I do like to do um, some bit, bits of repair every now and again, just simple stuff. And um, I'm, I, I do class joysticks uh, and controllers. It's pretty simple to fix. So, paid a few quid for these. Definitely nothing over the top. Um, and we've got these. Now, these are not necessarily in broken condition. Um, they are untested, which normally does mean they're in broken condition. But hey, that's the fun bit, huh? So, um, yeah, this looks like it's a, well, it, it's a Competition Pro uh, joystick pad, and that is for the GameCube, by the look of it. I don't know what all these um, are for. I mean, these have got, like, an Atari uh, end, so uh, this could be just a standard Mega Drive one, but a Competition Pro the Mega Drive. Uh, times two, another one, both in uh, decent condition. Techno Plus, that also might be some sort of Mega Drive uh, controller. Then we've got this one, which I've got no idea what that's for. 
Oh, Xbox. I've got no way of being able to test that myself because I haven't got an Xbox. I'm not going down that road. Not just yet, anyway. Uh, PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 controller. <coughs> Probably PlayStation 2, seems it's got uh, Joy Cons on there. Uh, fighter stick for the Mega Drive. Looks in nice condition as well. The guy really did pump a load into here, like. Uh, we've got this like funky kind of PlayStation controller. We have one of them, <laughs> my arch nemesis uh, for the uh, Nintendo 64. But I'm hoping that if this works, this could be uh, a little bit of the answers to my problems when it comes to Resident Evil 2, because I've still to complete that. Um, then we've got one for the Dreamcast, which looks rather nice. And then getting towards the end now, I would say, well, I, I have no idea what that's for actually. SG Pro Pad. Don't know. It's got an Atari end on it. Looks a little bit like a SNES kind of controller, but it isn't. And this one is a SNES controller. And they've got that one there. So there's quite a few competition pros in there. Definitely plenty to keep me busy with, guys, over the next few weeks. Um, definitely going to try and get more into there doing repairs and fixing stuff because I've just got stuff lying around and it needs sorting out so it needs to go so guys that's it that's all my pickups for this month I hope you enjoyed them um, I'm really happy with the hit squads that I've gotten really happy with Alien Breed um, I look forward to adding that uh, into the collection of games over there awesome with the magazines all these controllers to fix Hitman 3 to play uh, Bioshock got the other Bioshocks coming as well so yeah, today has been a good month guys. So it's a lovely sunny day out there. So I'm gonna sit in the house and watch the Grand Prix <laughs> or some of it anyway. I think the qualifying's on or the, the practice is on. So we're gonna watch that and uh, maybe do some repairs. So guys, from Retrobate, goodbye.